I've recently fell down the rabbit hole of watching these preteens take over the Sephora's. Like, oh my gosh, it is wild. Check it out. I didn't realize it was a thing. I started really thinking about it and digging a little deeper. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, the Sephora's uh, are full of preteens. They're telling grown people to get out of the way. They're buying all the skincare. They're buying all the expensive stuff. They are using their parents' American Express cards to buy thousands of dollars worth of makeup. What I want to get to is that, you know, look, I don't have a problem with, with the, the little preteens wearing makeup, you know, as a parent. Just make sure, you know, there's no allergies, you know, time and place. You know, if you want them to have the makeup, maybe don't let them wear a full face to school. Maybe it's just on certain days. I don't know. It, it, it's up to you as a parent. I, that's not the issue. I'm trying to get to the point. Stick with me. Obviously, it is a big issue of with these little girls um, being rude. Or little girls, little boys, whoever's in here buying the makeup. You know, don't don't be rude. You know, have respect for, for grown people and all of these things. We know this, right? Obviously, parents need to teach their kids some manners. That we can all agree on. But I will say, the silver lining in all of this that I actually do like about these young kids being so aggressive, what that says, especially, especially the little girls, what that says to me is that the pendulum has swung all of the way the other way and it needs to balance out. But there was once upon a time where girls were told to shh, be quiet, sit there and be quiet. Sit back there, sit, cross your legs and don't say nothing. Be quiet. You know, be seen and not heard. And I like that even though, even though they're being rude, I do like the sentiment of these girls have voices. They are not afraid to stand up for themselves, to speak up for themselves. They are not afraid. Uh, they're not afraid. And we, we need to reel it in and, and teach them to um, just speak with people with respect. Not just people older than you, but your peers and, and these things. But you know what? Hey, I think it is not the worst problem in the world to have to reel these girls in and teach them some decorum. Teach these young kids some decorum. I like that these kids have a voice. I like that these young girls who... For so long in society, we've been told to be sit there and be pretty and be quiet. And I love that they want to be pretty. They're in there getting their skincare. They're getting their makeup. They're living their best lives. And they're like, um, excuse me, ma'am, are you getting that last lip gloss? Because I'm trying to get it if you ain't going to get it. You know, that's that's a little much. But we can mold them. They are still preteens. So be patient with them, parents. Teach your kids some manners. Because not all grown people are going to... Uh, they're not going to respect your kids back. There are some grown people who will hit your kids. There are some grown people who will cuss your child out like they are grown. So, you know, just be aware. And plus, it's just not safe. out. You know, you're sending your kids out here with your credit cards and stuff. Just be, just be careful. Be smart. But I will say, I like that the little girls and, and the little boys, but especially the little girls, I'm glad that they have a voice. Keep that voice. Just, you know reel it in a little bit anyways let me know what you think about the sephora stuff in the preteens and how do you feel about girls finally standing up and having a voice we're not just sitting here and being pretty oh but I, you know what i will say i was wrapping up but i want to say this if it is your natural demeanor to be quiet to be timid to be shy there's nothing wrong with that either because not everyone is meant to be loud and boisterous there's nothing wrong with being one or the other don't be so shy and timid that people walk all over you but don't feel like you have to be so loud and boisterous to the point where people where you are the person walking all over everyone so find the happy medium be who you are if you're shy that's fine and quiet that's okay just you know you know what I'm saying? But if you are out here, well, my name is, and la, 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 like, you don't, we don't, happy medium, you know, but the pendulum swings back and forth. But I will say this, I don't be shopping in Sephora, but if one of your little kids run up on me talking about some ma'am, move out the way. <laughs> Just kidding. I love the kids. Anyways, um, let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Okay, love you, bye.